I'm Sherry and this is Gardening in the North and this is week one of having our little checks and week one has brought us to Pasty Butt. So I have three checks in this little container here that are crying their little eyes <laughs> right now. Uh, they don't like being separated from their friends but I put them in here. There's some wood shavings as well as some food for them so that I can separate them from the other ones and clean their um, vents off to make sure that everything is good to go. I wanna show you what I'm talking about when I talk about pasty butt. So let me just get her from behind. There we go. I'm just gonna show you that. So you can see that there's some poopy on there and that just needs to be cleaned off. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to take a wet cloth, it's been soaking in warm water, and I'm just gonna hold it there. I'm just gonna hold it there and that way it'll start to loosen up the poop that's on her vent. And then I'm going to use a wet paper towel and I'm just going to rub it very carefully and very lightly. And then I have a dry paper towel to wipe it off or to dry her off as much as I can. Okay. The last thing that you want to do when you're cleaning pasty butt is to pick it off or to scratch it off with whatever, um, you're using. So if you're using a cloth or you're using um, a paper towel, the last thing you want to do is try to scrape it off. She's getting really upset with me. Okay. And so I'm just going to wet the paper towel. And there we go. All cleaned. There you go, little girly. And let me show you another one. Okay, so now this one is worse. This one has something, um, I guess they pooped and it didn't draw, or it didn't fall off and it is caked on there. So I'm going to wet my cloth again. And then just hold it there like I did the last one so that it loosens up. You girls are fine. You have clean bumps now. You're lucky girls with those clean bumps. They don't like it at all. Jose, you're not getting me. <laughs> Cheeky chickies! Cheeky chickies! <laughs> Come here! Come here, girlies. Come here, girlies. Come here. Okay, so we are and nearing the end of week one with our baby chicks. And I have to tell you, they are super fast. It is so hard for us to catch them now. And I don't know what it is about my voice, but the minute I come in here to say good morning to them, they scatter. <laughs> 
It's probably because I'm the one that cleans their vents and they're like, no, there's that crazy girl again. I can feel her. I want to say it feels like she's purring, but obviously she's not purring, but she's vibrating a bit in my hand. So she's a bit scared, but she's doing such a good job. One thing that I've noticed, besides the fact that they are lightning speed fast, is they are so messy, so messy. So I will clean their water out and literally within half an hour, it's filled with wood chips. Now, I don't know how they manage it, but they will scratch in the wood chips literally two feet away and it flies up and only lands in the water. <laughs> I think she's getting more comfortable. So a couple things that we aren't sure about are which chicks are which breed. And so I don't know if any of you have any experience with Whiting True Blues and Easter Eggers, but we would love it if you could take a look at some of the ones that I'm going to show you and maybe if you have some experience with those breeds and you remember what your chickens look like as chicks maybe leave me a comment below to let me know so this one here she's mostly gray i don't know if you can see she's starting to get a little bit of her feathers in and she's she's camera shy <laughs> and her little face Hi friends. No, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> Let's get rid of another one. Okay. All right. So I don't know. So I obviously this one is a very similar coloring, except that the head is gray, um, as opposed to having a little bit more of a beigey yellow head on the other one this one is my favorite now i don't know if you have ever just automatically kind of bonded with one of your chicks but this little one here is probably the only one that will just stand there when i come over she doesn't necessarily scurry as fast as the other ones um she lets me pick her up a little bit more likes it when I rub her chest and she's not vibrating she's very calm I'm just afraid that she'll fly or not fly but jump into my hands and she has really pretty gray colorings and she's basically just sitting in my hand right now okay there you go girly now, the one that we do know that is for sure an Easter egg is our yellow one. So I'll show you her. And she does not like to be held. Hi, girl. Hi, girly. That's a nice girl. <laughs> they are so soft. Okay, okay. There you go. Um, and then we have some that look like chipmunks. The pattern on them remind us of chipmunks. Um, there she is. Look at how pretty she is. I don't know if you can see her back. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty girl. Okay, okay. She's like, I've had enough of you. Okay. Now, these little ones with a little patch of yellow on their heads, we believe that these are our Dominiques. We have five of them. They're all the same. And when we looked it up online, we believe that these little guys are 
the Dominiques. Now I'm interested if any of you have any Dominiques, what your take is on them. I think that the Dominiques are a little younger, maybe a day younger than the other ones. And they seem a little bit more aggressive than the other chicks in a sense that I've seen them peck at the other ones a little bit more, um, but who knows? Okay, okay. And then here's another one that has that chipmunk kind of pattern on her. So pretty. Hi, girly. Hi, girl. Hi. It's okay. So again, we don't know if this is a whiting true blue or an Easter egger. <laughs> And then we have this little gray one here with a little white on her chest. And she says, no, I don't want to be on camera. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> so we've tried or I've tried putting food in my hand. I've tried, um, you know, kind of leaning over and holding the food in there so that they'll come and they'll eat from my hand. I know that there have been a lot of comments and there's a lot of, um, you know, opinions out there that you, if you want your chickens to be um, comfortable around people, then you want to make sure that you are constantly touching them and talking to them. And so I'm really trying to, you know, get them to interact with me. I think because my husband works in the living room right now, he has his desk set up. I think that they probably like his voice better than mine. Um, so I think they're a little bit scared of me still. But um, all in all, our first week has gone pretty good. Um, so as we end week one, we will be entering week two in a couple days and we will be introducing treats. So check back for the week two video. Thanks for spending time with me.